emails during the transition phase. Yes. You say you're appalled by the accusation. I am appalled by the accusation of this lawyer for the trustee for the transition. Transition is a corporation that existed to get Donald Trump from Mr. Donald Trump to President Donald Trump. It ended uh, uh, at the moment of his inauguration. The trustee is, is the successor corporation. The lawyer for the trustee says, we just found out that all of our records were subpoenaed by Bob Mueller. Therefore, Bob Mueller did a bad thing. He didn't. First of all, Bob Mueller doesn't subpoena anybody. A grand jury does. And in order to get a grand jury subpoena, Mueller's people have to testify before it under oath as to why they need the records. And once the records are served on the GSA, the custodian of the transition records, it's the GSA's duty to tell the transition we got a subpoena. So you, you, We're going to comply with it unless you get a judge you, to interfere you're with You're saying that this is a law school 101. Yes, and I'm saying Bob, Bob and they're Mueller. arguing that how do you not impair future transitional teams coming into the White House in a new administration? What's the defense on that? You either don't send anything to the TSA and they sent to the GSA, GSA. excuse me, and they sent everything to the GSA, or you enter into a written agreement with the GSA which says if you receive a subpoena from any law enforcement entity before complying with a subpoena, you will tell us first. So if, if the feds want your banking records, let's say you bank at Chase, they serve a subpoena for your records on Chase. It's not their duty to tell you this. It's Chase's duty to tell you. I think the bigger picture here is the final point um, about the transition and how devastating the interviews could have been now yes. between the FBI and members of the administration because you would argue if you have the emails, you have the information, and now you have your line of questioning, and you're arguing the transition team had no idea that happened. So many people from the transition now work in the West Wing. Almost all of them were interviewed by the FBI. At the time of those interviews, the FBI had read their emails. If they asked them questions about their emails and it showed deception or lying to the FBI because the person being interviewed didn't know the FBI had their emails, that is potentially devastating to them. That's the trap that General Flynn fell into. When the FBI asked him about his conversations with Ambassador Kislyak, they already had the transcripts of those conversations. And that's the danger, ultimately, you see in the legal sense. Yes. see where that goes there. Thank you, sir, very much. Yeah, you're nice welcome. To see though. you on a Monday, all right? My pleasure.